welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Avatar The Way of Water. Um, I waited for this movie for so long. Uh, I feel like my whole family waited for this movie for so long. Um, I feel like it was really good. Um, although I do have some critiques, but I feel like it, for the most part it was a beautifully stunning, visually appealing movie. Um, I thought the plot was really cool. Um, there was just some places where I feel like it escaped us a little bit. Um, I think that we went from scene to scene very quickly. Um, and I wasn't able to really process, well, I wasn't able to process, like, enjoy, rather, the moment, um, to its fullest. Um, but that being said, I feel like there was a lot of cool elements. Um, I loved getting to see Jake and Atiri expand their family, and it was just, like, the narration in the beginning, I understand why it was necessary, because it's been, you know, some time. Uh, but it did go on for a while, and I was just like, okay, like, I would have liked maybe movie two to be, like, the first two kids being born, and, like, them being, like, you know, I guess, like, younger uh, or maybe one being an adolescent, like, it just, they, they just grew up, and they were teenagers for most of the movie, um, well, pretty much all the movie, um, and, like, I feel like I wanted to get to know younger them, because when Jake, like, goes back in the end, and he's, like, talking to his younger son, he talks about how fast time passed, um, and he did that very early on in the movie, and then at the end, it kind of went back to that, like, you know, like, he kind of focused so much on things that were not important, um, and he kind of lost that time, um, and I guess that, like, helps the movie a little bit, um, when it comes to, like, the fact that I didn't get to see them grow, you know, like, it kind of plays into that metaphor of, like, losing track of time, um, and so, um, he, like, right away, like, um, he has this family bond that I think is really, really nice, um, but I think, like, he just lacks certain things that are very important to the kids, um, because he's trying to protect them, and he's trying to make sure that, you know, they know what to do in case of danger, um, and he's very hard on them, um, but that being said, I don't think he's a bad father and he wasn't there. I do think that his, um, mannerisms, microaggressions, tones, uh, that he uses with his, uh, youngest son is very sad, very much so, like, he calls him a disappointment a lot of the time, he kind of just, like, is like, you brought shame to the family, like, all these different, instead of hearing him out, and I'm like, Jake, weren't you the one who, like, literally, like, did what ever you wanted and now you're not even like hearing him out like you know th that was you last movie like there's reasons maybe why he's doing certain things that being said I do think the kid was very reckless and did a lot of things that he shouldn't have and should have done it in different ways and should have talked to the adults and like put too many people in danger um but uh it's really sad that his big brother had to kind of like he he didn't pay for it but like you know had to be the one that passed i thought it was going to be him that passed but I, I guess it just makes more sense because it kind of also opens jake's eyes to like this is his son you know he it's like the only one he's got now he has to protect him um and be a better father um to him at least um and so that was kind of sad because i was like you're, you're being too hard, but I can see where it's coming from at the same time. Like, I thought you would be a little bit more lenient, but I, okay, I understand. But also, like, that's a little too far with him. It was just, it was so sad, like, watching him just be alone, um, all the time. Uh, I loved Kiri. Kiri was amazing. Um, and I thought she was going to be more of the troublemaker, um, which she was in some parts, but she was just kind of misunderstood. I think she was very mature and knew like what to do with herself um even when she didn't and I think that was very interesting um she like the way she carried herself even when she got teased it was just kind of like not really a big deal as it was to her brothers um 
and also the fact that like you know she was like adopted into the sully family and everything and like she still like refers to jake as her dad and everything but then she also knows that um grace is her mom and she wants to know what happened and we were kind of left at a cliffhanger where like she was talking to her and then she was like who is my dad and we all know like where she came at this point so in the end when she has this big like moment where she's like controlling like the anemones type things like i'm just like do you now know where you come from like do you know now that you're like this higher power child that like awa brought into this world to like you know because this world is not crazy <laughs> um but yeah so i i really liked her and then like she was also just kind of like mellow and hippie-ish and it was just like free spirit but then also like you know was very protective over i believe it was mainly her younger sister um but over her brothers as well she was a very um she just like always took care of them and she was like the second oldest um i believe but she kind of felt like the oldest sometimes like the older brother like and the younger but they kind of felt like twins or maybe like a year apart whereas like she was like the older sister it felt like but i think it was the older brother her and then the the next one um and then the little baby i think that's how it goes um we didn't get a lot of uh natiri in this movie like i feel like in the first movie we were just like learning from her she was just such an awesome you know individual and like so like independent like she had her moments you know she had her moments um and things get a little could get a little dramatic you know as we saw in this movie you know like she loses a child and she kind of just loses it um but i think in this movie it came off less as like she was confused and more like the first movie she was confused and like everything about what was happening with the sky people and jake and like she thought it was him and everything but it came across differently and this one it felt like it was like whining like grieving aching like mother who like turned into like this trained assassin um and killing all the humans um but like yeah it was just like so much hatred so much anger but i think i got that from the very beginning with her i mean and she like had to learn to trust like a lot of the sky people you know like she because she trusted jake so the fact that she was like kind of hesitant to spider was just kind of like i don't know why but okay um like you've seen that not all of them are bad like you married one did they get married they made it and it's like that. you know that's it um but like yeah so i just don't understand why she's like so against him i mean in the end i can see that because like you know a human killed was a, a human that entered an avatar body killed uh her son um and uh, i'm not sure which one did it um and i'm not sure how that one guy found out i don't know if it was him that was shooting but we all knew that okay when he dropped the gun and he like jumped we all knew he was gonna get shot like like that was just to be expected um so yeah um i just felt like the two brothers they like they just felt very close in age and they like got along so great i had trouble telling them apart so to me they were like they were basically twins um and I think that worked well for the movie, even though they, they were different ages, you know, because it allowed me to, like, look at them and, like, do that comparison, I think, that the movie wanted me to do, um, because we wanted to see, you know, which one was the oldest, um, and, like, who, I guess, was, like, more mature based on, like, what Jake was seeing and everything and more trustworthy, um, so I think, like, their closeness, um, and brotherhood and then also them being in a lot of scenes together and looking very much alike and by the way none of these kids look like jake none of them so <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um and then natiri's face is very rounded i think like turek Tur was the only one and even kiri like looked the most like i'm sorry the boys did not look like <laughs> um but um i think that visually we can like then interpret okay like you know these two are to be compared to each other even though they were more vastly different in age um so that being said um 
I thought the whole family was great. They were really cute. I love that they had, like, a little, like, you know, 10-year-old, 9-year-old. I don't know how old she was. She was just awesome. Like, she was great. And, like, always, like, providing the humor when needed. Um, I felt like this movie, like, was a bunch of different movies meshed up into one. And, like, I could kind of, like, I, I was watching it with my siblings and, like, we would, like, start singing, like, you know, certain songs from, like, certain movies that were, it reminded us of, you know, um, so it just kind of, like, I could tell certain things were not, like, as original as I really wanted to, it, it to be for this movie, um, overall, it's still a good movie, um, but I could see things that I'm like, oh, I've kind of seen something like that before, um, I loved that we, you know, got to meet a new tribe. I don't know if they were, like, one of the tribes that were included in, like, the war against the Sky People in the first one. Um, I think in the next one, like, they're, ugh, I saw it on TikTok, like, they're gonna meet new people, like, a new tribe, and I'm just like, okay, do we meet all the tribes already, or kind of, you know? I don't know. Um, but I loved how we got to, like, immerse ourselves and, like, all these different new characters and people and everything um and it was kind of sad that you know we left the original tribe but like they had to and honestly I think that was a good call going to a different tribe I, I would have just like been solo because like you're putting other people in danger um and then Nateria is like a very like she wants to stay with her people and everything she doesn't want to leave um and they mean so much to her and so when she leaves it's like she's like heartbroken and like sobbing and everything um and I think like I said there was just too much of that I got it it was a very you know it was hard it was a hard movie for her um but she was not as independent as an individual she was very she was hardly there in a lot of scenes and she was very reliant on like Jake and like other things going on um and, and then at the end she was just like you know this crazed thing and like it was very sad and like she at the end she had like this you know white thing like she was like a widow and everything like kind of looking individual um and I just like just a grieving person you know um and I I just didn't like that from her I wanted her to be like kick butt Nadiri um but that's what we got so I just I wanted more from her uh Jake sometimes I was like where is he like you know um but most of the stuff would get done by him or his kids. Um, and what else? There was a, a whole bunch of cool new sea creatures. I think I, okay, I love the ocean. So I think that seeing a bunch of sea creatures get attacked and everything, even if like I didn't know what they were, I was just like, it hurt 10 times more than in the original when like any other creature was getting attacked. Like it just was, it was very hard. Um, and then Kiri kind of like at the end with the butterfly um jellyfish thing and like all the little like I, I thought it was very visually appealing but I'm like it took too long and it was just for like the effect like you know there could have been something a little bit different um and it just made her seem very ethereal which I guess was the, the point but it was just kind of like this movie I think was too on the nose of like what is AWA, um, AWA protect us, stuff like that, like, you know, like, and I think in the first movie, it was more sort of, like, it wasn't, like, an afterthought, I don't know what the word is, it didn't feel so religion heavy, if that makes sense, it felt more at one with nature, learning about, like, a different culture and people, this one I felt was very much, like, the story of AWA, you know, like, you know, like, even though it was kind of, like, it was there, she was there, but she was not there. Also, if she's a she, and she impregnate Grace, just say, okay, um, but, uh, so, yeah, um, and then, I was kind of sad that we saw, like, just, like, the original, like, um, cast, a few of the, the uh, people that stayed and survived, like, for only minutes, you know, um, and then, like, they brought over, like, the helicopter thing to like save Kiri after she had like the seizure and everything um and they were like basically telling her like saying that she had like a god complex and I'm just like what is happening like this whole movie just felt like that um and like that was like the thing that like showed the like didn't they think like that that was going to be the thing that was going to show the bad guys where they were at 
Um, and in my opinion, I don't think they should have been there in the first place, but that was the whole point of the movie, to meet new people and for the kids to fall in love and discover new things. And I was like, it could have been a little bit different, but that would have been a different movie. Um, so, yeah, uh, one of the kids enters a whale's mouth and it creeped me out. Uh, I don't know why the thing is, like, inside. Why would that? Then how does it eat? Just, like, ugh, it brings me back to, like, Pinocchio and, like, that scene from Finding Nemo. Which doesn't gross me out that much, but still, it's just, like, I don't, like, I don't know. I'm just, it creeps me out. Um, and he became one with the whale. And apparently the whales are, like, you know, like, their spirit animal sister kind of things. So they kind of, like, do what they do kind of thing. And then just, like, them being brutally murdered is like just terrible um and i had to watch it so many times also the graphics were a little interesting like i did i felt like certain scenes were like there were some scenes that were more gruesome than the first one but like i just felt like the way that they angled the camera the way that the cgi worked it just didn't mesh well um it, like, but it was still very visually beautiful with the colors and everything but like that's pandora in itself um and what else? I didn't feel like, what was her name? Kate Winslet? Her character, I didn't see her. Like, you know how you like see Grace and you see Sigourney Weaver and you see Jake and you see his act, you know, his actor. Like, you know, you see them, their facial features. I didn't realize, I feel like they put too much like on, and they kind of, the way that her head was like shaped to like make it look more aquatic. Like it didn't seem like her to me and I was really excited you know to have her in this movie um and I thought she was a great character um that whole scene where like you know Terry and her like are growling at one another and then Jake is like I apologize for my mate I'm like don't you dare apologize for her no don't do no 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 she is fierce um but I just love that how she like stands up for her man in that scene but like then like Jake cuts her off and she's just like fine I'm like no 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 um but I feel like she was uh, a very fierce character in herself, and I feel like she was what I needed Natiri to be in this movie. Um, her daughter was great, uh, and then we saw how um, their son was like in the beginning of the movie making fun of like the kids for like you know because they have uh, how many fingers? Because Jake has five, and that's how he was, and then so they have four, and I think they like originally have three or something um so that's like weird to them and they're like oh no like they're interbred and like with demon blood and all this stuff um so yeah uh and then it's interesting how like the tales differentiate like there was certain little differences um on how like they um they looked which is really cool um and i'm still not completely sure how like the back got like revived like if something with dna but i'm like if that's the case so like we did th they did they developed that like later you know like because if they could have developed that like that would have been great for like jake's brother that like passed away in the first movie you know like but i don't know um so let's talk about spider um i apologize if this review is a little longer than my re reviews have been lately there's just a lot to unpack in this movie and i've been waiting for a very long time this the first movie came out when i was like 13 and I am now about to be 26. So, it's been a long time. Um, <clears throat> So, Spider. Uh, when I first saw, you know, you know, maybe it was spoiled a couple of times over TikTok because I did wait a while to see this movie. But there are reasons for that. Um, and I felt like he was going to be a different character. Like, I thought he was going to be more part of the family where he just kind of visited and he was just kind of, I think... <sighs> like he was more like the cousin you know like just kind of came and like he knew who his father was and everything and I don't think they knew who his father was um maybe Jake did I don't know um but the other people did that were um the other friends of theirs and then um so like he just kind of hung around and grew up with them and everything um and then like we we understood in the beginning that he didn't want to be his dad he didn't like his dad and then suddenly he was searching for a father figure um i guess that kind of makes sense you know like i guess that was kind of implied but not really like he was very like i don't think he needed like 
to be that person that was like looking for someone because I think he had it like right there. Um, and so then he starts believing, you know, his father's soul's avatar. Um, and like you could tell that he like loves his kid in some version when there's a wicked brain of his. Um, but uh, yeah, like so he Spider kind of has a good time with him, and I'm like, why are you like? are you not seeing what you're doing here he was teaching him the language showing him this showing that i'm just glad he didn't lead them to like the original like tribe like you know like but like i don't know i was just like what on earth um and yeah so that whole dynamic was and then he saved him at the end i'm like this is the third movie gonna be basically the same this guy trying to kill them um and I assumed that the guy wanted more, you know, like, to do with, like, I didn't think that his ultimate goal was just to kill Jake. I think there was, like, more to it. Um, but then, like, it just becomes, like, just re about revenge and everything. But this whole team really is, like getting together just to kill Jake, like, there has to be something more to this. Like, there, there's a backup plan for a reason, like... I'm not really seeing too much of the end goal other than, like, you just killing Jake. I mean, obviously there was one, you know, and, like, in the first movie there was one. But, like, I just felt like there was just more vengeance in this one. Um, and so, yeah, those are my thoughts on that. Um, and I think that the kids little romance was cute um kind of like took over like jake and teary's romance for me like it kind of filled in those holes like well, that was missing um just because like i just didn't see them being killed together it's like it just like they they just kind of like hugged and it was just like we are husband and wife and it was just like and then jake mansplaining her but it was just kind of like uh, I want to see more of that, you know, like, she kind of let a lot of things slide for him, and then he was being that to her, and then, but, like, the whole My Jake thing was cute, but it was just kind of, like, just that back and forth, and so, yeah. I mean, it wasn't as epic as it was in, like, the first one, um, their little kid romance, because they're teenagers, you know, but, like, like, how his dad and his mom were, but either way, um, and yeah, I... I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was great. Um, just a few critiques. Um, and then um, I'm eager to see what the next one's going to be like. I'm just happy I don't have to wait another I don't know how many more years for it to come out. Um, and there's a lot I think I impact on this movie, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot more. But I think I tackled what I wanted to. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see y'all soon. Bye!